Hi guys, I'm Ben here, and before we go to West Ham, it's time to have a look back at October and do my Player of the Month, my monthly awards for October. And look, it feels like it was a really dreadful month uh, when, when you look back at it. I mean, it was really negative. We had the 4-1 defeat at Spurs. We failed to beat the likes of Newcastle and United at home. Um, so that wasn't great, but we got the 7-0 win over Maribor and we got the 3-0 win over Huddersfield at the end of it. So it was two wins. Two draws and a defeat in October. So look, not ideal, but look, there were some positives to take from it. There were some good moments, there were some good nights, and there were some great goals, some great players. Everything bar the 4-1 at Spurs was kind of okay to all right and to, to great at times. So let's look back at it. So we've got goal of the month, flop of the month, surprise package of the month, moment of the month, and player of the month. We'll start with goal of the month. Now the winners of this so far have been Chan against Hoffenheim in August. Salah against Leicester in September and this time I'm going with Philip Coutinho and not the Newcastle screamer. I'm going for his goal against Maribor, the one that made it 2-0 I believe. Um, just love the goal, I, just, I don't know, it was just all quick, one touch and then bang, it was so Salah you know, advancing on goal, Milner made the run to the right, played it into Milner's path, Milner barely even looked but he just knew exactly where he had to cut it back to, little dinked ball back to the edge of the area where Coutinho was arriving and Coutinho wasn't the cleanest finish but I just love how it all happened so quickly love that game, love that night, 7-0 away in Europe and the Coutinho's goal is my favourite goal of the month now, flop of the month I'm afraid it's the second time that this player won this and as a player that won the player of the month for Liverpool it's Dejan Lovren um, look, I don't condone, I don't enjoy the, the death threats I think that's obviously ridiculous and no one should ever be doing that um, whether the player of the month thing was people taking the piss, whether it was people being nice, either way, it is what it is, I'm not going to get too worked up about that. Um, fair play to people that wanted to support him and fuck off to the people that want to take the piss. Look, I've slagged him off. I don't like the guy as a player. He, he's, I'm, sure, I'm sure he's a lovely bloke, but when we're talking about the flop of the month, it's him. It's him. He, he was awful for the goal at Newcastle. He, was, he got hooked after half an hour uh, at Spurs. And look, he's, his head's not in the right place at the moment, and it's a shame. He's had some okay games. I thought he played well against Man United, um, so you know, fair play to him for that. But the error at Newcastle and his just his head just not not there. I mean, the, the game at Spurs is one of the worst performances from a defender I've ever seen from Liverpool. So it has to be him, I'm afraid. He, he's the standout worst player of the month. And look, I hope he improves. I hope he's okay. You know, personally, I'm sure he's struggling a bit. Um, I want him to be good for Liverpool, I really do, of course I do. Um, but we're paying a lot of money, we paid big money for him when he joined from Southampton. I don't wish bad on anybody, I want him to get better. But it just feels like the pressure of playing for such a big club is too much for him. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. But a man that could replace him as centre back maybe this season going forward is my surprise package of the month, and that's Joe Gomez. Just about fell short of player of the month. Um, but his performance against Man United in particular was a real man's performance. Uh, probably our best, maybe one of our best players on that day. And overall, really, I guess he just matured this month. I thought he struggled a bit in in September. One or two slightly dodgy games. I thought didn't think he was great against uh, Sevilla. Obviously, got sent off. One or two other occasions where he wasn't great. But this month, he's really. It's like he's got a run of games. He seems to be really getting a nod over Trent Alexander Arnold now at right back, and and probably deservedly so. Uh, I, I think both guys have got bright futures. Um, they're probably both going to be in the starting lineup at some point this season with Trent coming in at right back until Klein comes back and Gomez perhaps filling in for Lovren if Lovren's not quite right um, at centre back. So look, Gomez have been superb this month uh, or last month. The, the performance against United in particular. Um, yes, he struggled at Spurs, but he was nowhere near the worst player on the pitch that day. Played well uh, in, in the other games. So look. Happy with him, hopefully he can continue his form. Uh, moment of the month. Now, look, there weren't many great ones. There were, it, wasn't, it wasn't an outstanding month for Liverpool's history, but we did get a 7-0 win over Maribor, and my moment of the month comes from that game, and it's Oxide chamberlains goal. Because, it, look, people were starting to write him off, people were starting to say it's a waste of money, and his confidence was never there. He wasn't getting many minutes on the pitch. But he came on against Maribor, and we were all saying at the time, wouldn't it be great if he could get a goal? And that's exactly what he did. It was a, it was a nice little burst through the middle of the pitch. I think it was Sturridge that played him in. Everyone wanted Oxford to and score. Everyone's been willing him to score. Everyone wants him to do well at Liverpool. He's a nice guy. Gets on with all the players, clearly. And uh, you saw that when he scored, everyone was sort of straight around him. He went up straight off to the fans. The fans were delighted. Oxford Chamberlain got his first goal for Liverpool, and you know he's up there with a record signing. So you know, you hope it's the first of many. And uh, the way he played against. 
uh, Maribor at home this month in November, so it doesn't count towards uh, uh, these awards, uh, was promising as well. So look, hopefully that's sort of his big turning point for Liverpool and he can press on from there. A man who hasn't even needed the turning point uh, is the player of the month, a man who also joined in the summer. He was a September player of the month uh, in, in my awards. I think he won the official player of the month for Liverpool in both months, August and September, and he wins my award here. And he, look, he has been the best player. It's Mohamed Salah. Um, he's now got 10 goals and 16 appearances for Liverpool. That obviously takes into account the November goal, so... Uh, but his October was great. His performance in the was delightful. Um, he was pretty good against United, always alive with looking to make things happen. Um, yes, he missed the penalty um, against Huddersfield, but he gets the goal at Spurs too. But he's just been a, he's just been the most dangerous player. He's a player that makes things happen. He's a player that opposition defences fear most, especially with Mane and Coutinho being out at the moment. Uh, He's our biggest goal threat. He's everything. He, he is an absolutely sensational signing. It's a masterstroke. It's a bargain, no matter what we pay for him, whether it was 32, 37, 40, I don't care. He's going to score 20 goals, at least, in all competitions. He's on 10 already. Um, he might even score 20 in the league. I don't know. He's, he's just... Never have I seen a, a winger get so many chances in the game. And his, his conversion feels bad. It's frustrating. He does miss some bad chances. But um, I think a stat came out today that... Um, his his shot conversion rate is better than the likes of Harry Kane and, and Ronaldo and, and Dybala. So, look, he's not as bad as anyone makes out in front of goal. Yes, he's a bit one-footed um, and he doesn't necessarily take all the chances, but he has been phenomenal and he is a clear player of the month. And I look forward to seeing him in action against West Ham this Saturday where I will be attending and I'm buzzing for that. I really hope we can win. A preview for that game will be up very shortly. And I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you have uh, agreed with most of my selections. Some of them might be a bit different. The Oxford Chamberlain goal maybe wasn't the memory of the month. Uh, the goal of the month probably wasn't Coutinho on, on paper. Maybe his goal against Newcastle was slightly uh, technically better. Uh, but these are my favourites uh, for all five categories. Uh, if you agree, let me know. Leave a comment, of course. And uh, subscribe if you're new. And follow my other socials too. It's been my say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Up the Reds. See you next time.